What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio Buck Show, bringing to you today the most important questions of your life. Guys, I'm reporting live, of course, from Bangkok. I just arrived last night, and I am back here for another 17 days, or maybe 16 days, and then I shoot off to wonderful Kuala Lumpur again for the biggest race of my life. And guys, today, again, it's not about me. It is not about I. It is about you. So what you guys need to do... It's time to look at this blog, okay? I actually have it in PDF form, and you can actually print out the print out the PDF form from my blog. You have to click on the blog first, of course, the ArsenioBuckShow.com. Click the multimedia at the very, very bottom and start writing. See, guys, I'm gonna go over some of these questions, all right? So, first and foremost, what is your life purpose? What is it that you want to achieve in life? Seriously, I really want you to just sit down and think about it. All of these things, we live in a very, we're living in a society that, you know, there are so many influences like Lisa Nichols talked about in her Abundance Now book. We're talking about the geographical influence, the social influence, the, the, the financial blueprint, the, all of these things, all of these things has ultimately dictated what we've, you know, we've grown up with. And it has dictated what's going on in our life. And it's what we see before our very eyes. So if you're not up to the liking and you're not content with what is going on in your life, well, then you have the power to change it. Not only that, but the purpose. What's the overall purpose? What is it that you want to do? I wrote down my purpose. It says to inspire with my voice all around the world to build an organization that helps bring education to some of the most rural villages in all of the world. To make learning English as easy as possible and to build a thriving community where people can help one another on a daily basis. That's my purpose. Of course, there are so many other things, but this all revolves around my charisma and my voice. So, of course, I need my voice. And without my voice, there's nothing else I can do. Now, of course, I can do the whole running thing. Yes, those are, you know, that's part of my life too. But, again, that's no, not going to bring change to other people's lives. Of course, that only brings change to my life. The purpose has to be bigger than you. It doesn't have to, it cannot be about you. It has to be about what you're going to do for the world, for the planet. No more pointing fingers and saying, oh, well, you should do this. You should do that. No, it is up to you. What are your dreams? What are your goals? And of course, Vishen Lakiani, he made a video in terms of ends goal, uh, end goals and needs goals. Needs goals is what we need, right? Entrepreneurship. Again, Hakeem Khan, he was actually talking about this. He's like, I don't want entrepreneurship. I don't want all this money to be, you know, entrepreneurship. Why is it associated with commercialism? You know, it's the cool thing. If you put entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs or anything on Instagram, you're going to see all of these guys standing in front of their stupid Lamborghinis, their Bugattis, their Porsche, their Aston Martin, this, that. And you know what? Every last one of them are insecure. Why? Because maybe they were picked on as a child and they realized that the only way they could get back It's by making a lot of money and showing it. It's the truth. Okay, a lot of people would say, oh, well, yeah, a car, you know, that'll make me happy. It's only going to make you happy momentarily. I'm telling you right now, the happiness is much bigger than you. It's what you do, your contribution to the planet. That's what happiness is. And when you're fulfilling that, ha ha, you're going to feel it just as I feel it every morning. What are you grateful for? Like, what are you wholeheartedly grateful for? I'm just unbelievably grateful just for being able to teach another day, of course, in wonderful Thailand. Of course, that sounds a little bit weird coming out of my mouth. What wonderful Thailand after everything? Yes, that is correct. After being in Malaysia and being around those people and coming back to Thailand, man, it just felt like over the last 24 hours, I seriously got my mojo back. I'm on the train. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. People are talking to me. I met this old, this super ridiculously super gorgeous woman uh, just recently at the gym and this and that. All these things uh, that continue to take place in my life. You know, a lot of people, we always focus on the negative. It's always that one nasty stare that we get that trumps the 1,000 smiles that we get. Now, what are you grateful for? Nothing unattached to money or materialism. What are you grateful for right now? Are you grateful for the electricity? Are you grateful for the water that you have, the clean water, the this, the that? What are you seriously grateful for? How would you like to grow personally? Like personally, how, what, what skills would you like to develop? 
Like what kind of personality traits that, you know, that it could ultimately excel and, you know, blossom into something so great and so amazing that can inspire people? You know, Les Brown, you know, I mean, if you look at it from his standpoint, he had to grow in so many different areas to achieve the things he has achieved over the last 25 to 30 years. See, a lot of people, man, we stopped growing. Just recently, I actually heard a story at my gym that one of the trainers that I used to spoke, uh, speak to, she ended up quitting her job. And I knew exactly that. Well, I knew that was going to happen because, of course, discontent. And I read about this, of course, in Napoleon Hill's book, and we're just so discontent with so many things. Of course, she's still very, 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 very young. But at the same token, she quit because she just wasn't happy in her own skin. She's like a little girl in a massive world, and she thinks that she's being pulled in so many different directions, and then up and go. That's it. So a lot of people, man, we, we kind of quit on things that will ultimately push us. Like, what is the next big step? If, you, if she honestly think or you honestly think that you could grow a hell of a lot more just as I thought, I could grow a heck of a lot more getting out of that job that I used to be at, okay. That's how you're going, and that's exactly what happened because you know what? Once I quit that job, I applied for a bunch of others, and one, of course, there were like three guys there that actually acted as mentors for me. They were teaching me the ins and outs of IELTS and this and that, and I ended up learning more and more and more and being around those people that actually could help me teach the, of course, IELTS examination. I want to grow. I want to continue growing, and I want freedom while doing it too. See, man, if you stop growing, discontent will grow. It will. And if it grows, once it grows, I mean, you're just going to be miserable until you get back in alignment with your purpose. How would you like to grow spiritually? What would your perfect relationship look like? What would your ideal family life consist of? What is something that you've always wanted to do? What would you like to do more in my life? I was just talking to one of my friends recently, and her name um, – well, it doesn't matter. But her, she was telling me – and I, she normally sends me pictures at night, and she's always playing badminton and swimming. I'm like, I need more free time. I do need more free time. Yes, I go on these vacations. I'm getting ready to go on a second one coming up at the end of the month. And then there are some big things happening you know, over the next four months after that. But I'm not enjoying the now. I believe that I'm not enjoying the now. Now today, yes, I am enjoying the now because, of course, one of my friends from Doha, Qatar actually came. And we're going to get together like we did three years ago. And we're going to have laughs and stories for days. See, that's what it's about. You know, you got to have – you got to make time for yourself. Now, a lot of people, of course, you got to make time for growing. You got to make time for this. You got to make time for that. And it's very difficult because we're getting shoved in so many different directions that we're just like we're so overwhelmed by everything. But you know what? You can never X out free time. And yes, Gary Vee will say, no, you got to hustle, 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 hustle. That's his methodology. But if you're not living in the now, you're not living in true fulfillment and you're not living in the, hey, you know what? I'm just going to drop everything for the next two to six hours. And I'm just going to relax and be within myself. That's the most gorgeous thing ever. What would you like to do more in your life? The little things? Where would you like to travel? I wrote down Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Cyprus, Gibraltar, Macedonia, Kenya, Egypt, Morocco, Fiji, Samoa, Norway, Sweden, Croatia, Costa Rica, Colombia, Chile, Panama. (gasps) Oh my goodness. Those are my countries. Where do you want to travel? Seriously, like where do you want to travel? And have you looked up the plane tickets? Like, where would you like to live? I was actually asked this uh, question not so long ago, and there were a couple of guys. Of course, I need to email them. I just reminded myself. Um, Some guys out there in Chile that are saying, hey, man, when are you going to come to Chile, this and that, so we can have an interview? And I'm like, man, you know, that's probably my five to ten year plan. Like, right now, I got to build my brand here. It's expanding exponentially. And so where would I like to live for the long term, especially after I'm 40 years old? It's probably and ultimately going to be Chile. You know, so where do you really, really want to live? I don't care about your neighborhoods, live on the other side of town. Where do you want to live? What career would you ideally choose or create for yourself? What are your financial goals? How can you give back within your community? Which causes or charities would you like to be more involved in? If you could change the world and make it a better place, how would you do it? These are the most important questions. See, once you're able to figure out Within yourself, exactly what you want to do, life is going to get a hell of a lot more interesting.
Because a lot of you, of course, right now, I know, I know right now, a lot of you right now, this instant, you guys are just walking through life with no head. Nothing is going right. A lot of things are going wrong. This is that. You got toxic relationships, toxic friendships. Hey, well, you know what? You need to start asking yourself these questions. Guys, go on my blog, print out that PDF and get writing and share with me, of course, on my Facebook page that is also in the description, the things that you would like to achieve in your life. And with that being said, guys, stay tuned for Tony Robbins tomorrow. This is your host, Arsene. Yo, as usual, over and out.